Hi. Today I'm going to explain diagnostic ultrasonography procedure. Oh, excuse me. I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Paprika. I'll be your guide for the next few minutes. I was talking about diagnostic ultrasonography, otherwise known as echography. It's the same type of procedure used for pregnant women. But here we will be talking about diagnostic ultrasonography in general. I'll use an example from nature to make it easier to understand. Bats emit ultrasounds when they fly. They sense the echoes, that is to say the ultrasounds that bounce off of objects in their way or off of insects to be eaten. Well, it's the same principle for observing certain internal organs. This is the scan room. Hello, Mr. Chapuis. We're going to start now. Can you please lower the sheet, lift your gown, and uncover your abdomen? Will it hurt? No, no, don't worry about that. Hello. Hello. Are you comfortable? Yes, everything's fine, thanks. Hello, doctor. Hello, Paprika. May I show them the scanner? Yes, of course, Paprika. Thank you. Look, this is where we find the control buttons and the screen to observe the images. And this is the probe which we place on your body. We use gel to enable the ultrasound waves to pass between the probe and your skin. It isn't unpleasant, you'll see. Okay, I'm going to start with the probe and the gel. There, you see, it's a little cold, but not unpleasant. And it's not painful. Let me know if I press too hard. Okay. And there we see your heart beating above your liver. Are x-rays used? Not at all. The probe emits ultrasound waves that enter the body and are reflected off the different abdominal organs. These ultrasound waves are then recaptured by the probe and transferred to the device that projects the images on the screen that you see here. We use the same procedure on pregnant women to see if the baby's doing well. There are no specific preparations needed, except for certain types of abdominal scans. In such cases, we ask you to fast, or, in others, not to urinate beforehand to make sure that your bladder is full, which helps us to observe that particular area of your body more clearly. Now I'm going to apply more gel. And now we'll check the other side. Take a deep breath. Hold your breath. And now breathe out. Great. Was that all right? Fine. In any case, it wasn't painful. Okay. Now, I'm going to prepare my report and send it to your doctor, who will then explain to you the kind of treatment you need. As you've noticed, the scan doesn't last very long. It generally takes from 15 to 30 minutes. We have just shown you an abdominal scan. We could also have shown you a scan on another part of the body, the knee or the shoulder, for example. As with most examinations, this is normally paid for by your insurance. Okay, <laughs> I've got to go now, but if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask the medical team. Bye-bye.